and we welcome in Brian Boyle. Explain first things first, why Corey Schneider was a big reason for you signing with New Jersey. Well, Corey, Corey and I have been friends for a number of years, and he's obviously a, a close friend of mine. His wife and my wife get along great, they're friends. And, but more so, it's just the fact that a, a, a quality player that he is and that, that the most important position. I think that he's, he's an important ingredient in a team's success. He's had a tremendous amount of success in this league. And as a building block to start off, I mean, he's he's a great guy to have. So, I mean, it's just exciting to be able to play with your buddies and, and all that. We, you make a lot of friends playing in the league. It's, uh, it's always a lot of fun. But it's a lot more fun when you can win and put together a good team and, and be competitive. And that's, I mean, that was why it was important to me. Uh, I know he's a number one goalie in the league. And again, like he's, He's, he's had a great career, and he's going to continue to have a great career, and I want, I'd want, i love to, to be able to play with him some more. Uh, that makes sense, Brian. He is a very good goalie. Uh, you've kind of established yourself as a player who can play important roles on good teams, successful teams, the Rangers, Tampa, Toronto. You jump right in, and you find a spot to help teams win. So saying all that, what about beyond Corey Schneider, the New Jersey Devils, uh, makes you think it's a good fit for you with the Devils? Well, I, I think the way, you know, when it comes to free agency, uh, I mean, I've done it twice, but you see a team that you've played against and you remember, you know, what kind of team that is. It's a hard team to play against. Uh, it, there's a potential for some success there. And, and obviously it was, a, it was a bit of a lean year last year for the club. But I think the way that John Hines is coaching that team, the way that, you know, you come out of that rink in Newark feeling like you couldn't get a whole lot done offensively when you're playing against them. I think they play the right way. I think they can defend, and, and they're a hard-working team. And that's something that I can do. That's something that I want to do. And that's, uh, it's exciting for me because I think they've made some acquisitions, obviously, as, as you just mentioned. It's an exciting time right now because it's a team on the rise. And, you know, I've been a part of a team where, the expectations have been a little bit lower than what they were in the dressing room from the outside. And it's always great to kind of make a name for yourself in that regard to, to, to surprise some people. Brian, do you find it difficult when you change teams and you're brought in to provide some of that leadership uh, to step in right away into that kind of role because you're still trying to figure out exactly how you fit with everyone else as a new guy? How do you manage that transition to a new team, but also as a veteran leader on that new team? Well, yeah, you know, you go to a new team, it's like, you know, you're the new kid at school, it's your first day, and <laughs> you don't know how you're going to fit in in terms of how you'd be received by the guy. You know, I, I think you can worry about that, or you can just be yourself and, and be a good person. I think that's, mm -hmm. I think le leadership is more, uh, more involved with your actions and how you, like I was saying before, how you prepare for games, how you handle kind of diversity when teams are going through rough patches or individuals are going through rough patches. I think that's where, that's where leadership is really important. It's easy when everybody's winning, you have fun, and you don't think about anything. But it's kind of when, uh, when the team's tested, the character of the team kind of comes out. When you get to a new team, if your role changes a little bit, you can't be barking out orders if you're uh, – playing on the fourth line in eight to ten minutes. But, again, you can prepare for each game. You can, uh, there's, there's guys that are out of the lineup that might be young. They, they can watch, see what you're doing after games to stay ready in case your, your minutes go up. It's just things like that. It, it doesn't necessarily ever have to be a whole lot of talk. With your character and skill as the new kid, you're going to be well-liked. <laughs> have fun with the devs. We're looking forward to watching you. Hey, look, thanks, guys. Thanks a lot for having me on. Appreciate oh, our pleasure.